Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. And today, I'll be hitting y'all with another reaction. This time, we'll be reacting to Dobie featuring Lil Uzi, Bussin'. Now, what's off Dobie's latest album? I don't know Dobie, Doboy. Anyway, it's off his latest album with 808 Southside, Demons Are Us. I believe Southside produced the whole tape as well. Now, this track is number six, and I literally bumped this in my car every single day since it dropped. Literally. I can't lie. At first, I was a little wary about this collab because it just didn't make sense to me. Doughboy, Lil Uzi, ah. But I'd be the first to admit that I was wrong. This track is fire. Now, usually, I'll wait until some time into the video to let you know how I feel about a song or the video. But nah, this one, I rock with heavy. Now, the beat is fire. Shout out to 808 Southside. It's good to see him making a comeback. I feel his personality mixed with Doughboy's personality brought out like a real sinister demon type vibe on this mixtape. The production on this whole tape is fire because even though some of the beats had some of the same patterns, the beat was still versatile. All right? It gave a um it gave like a LA Compton slash Oakland slash trap vibes. I don't know. All that while still maintaining Doughboy sound. Now look over at Hoogers Anonymous, we do our um, reactions a little different. Instead of playing the video on the screen and commenting as it plays, we listen to the audio or watch the video first and give you our judgment after. This way, you get to save three to four minutes of your life and just hear whether it's hot or not. Now, whether you decide to still listen or watch, it's totally up to you. Now, without prolonging any further, let's get straight into it. Doughboy featuring Lil Uzi, Bustin'. Now, I'm going to start off by saying that Lil Uzi surprised me. Maybe because all of the recent crap like Eternal would take and all that weird stuff with the, the, the piercings and the hair and the, you know, just weird. I was a little Uzi fan before all that weird stuff. I remember songs like All My Change, uh, Chains, uh, Safe House, uh, Exo Tour Life, all those. Those were like four or five years ago. Now through the years his flow switched up here and there, but for the most part he still kept his core fans. And they were satisfied, so who am I to complain? Now, as far as this track, like I said earlier, I was very wary about a Doughboy featuring Lil Uzi collab because it's like two different worlds. However, Lil Uzi killed it on this track. His flow brought like a different sound to the song. Uh, the way he wrote the beat, it was just all dope. Doughboy did his thing as well. Uh, if you know him, he got like a distinctive sound. That whole... Oh really? That whole ad lib is just catchy as hell too. I be in the car bumping like a listen, like a motherfucker, man. Listen now, if you know him, you know you know he had like some big artillery. He gotta have some big guns. All that in this video as usual, and he talking his mess. Now I don't know, but whether he really liked that or not, nobody ever come forward and say anything falsely about this man. And he talk reckless every song. All right, that's kind of why I like his music. It's like whether you a shooter or not, by the time you done listening to Doughboy, you gonna either want to catch a body or you gonna at least felt like you caught it already. Alright? Now shout out to the directors. Y'all know I always make it my business because these guys play a major part in your favorite artist's career. They make them look good but get the least recognition and we all know that you can have a trash song but if the video is fire, I might make it through the whole song without even realizing it because I was hooked onto the video. Now the videographers this time was Armin. Smajalovic, Smajalovic, I don't know, and Marco Stees. Now, I don't know who the other director is, but Marco Stees has been working. He's all over the blogs promoting himself, and he invests heavy into his craft. He's also responsible for videos for artists such as Future, Lil Baby, Hood Rich Pablo Juan, K Kemp, Young Benz, Wap Tarantino, and that's just to name a few. Now he's from Kansas City and we all know that it's not easy coming from places like Kansas City. So shout um, shout to him and his movement, man. Go check him out. Like I said, his video is pretty good. Now the video was great quality. It didn't have much going on. It seemed like it was shot in probably one or two locations. And the videographer just played with like the edits. The little edits that they had to keep it interesting. I don't know. Sometimes less is more. Now, it seemed like it was just an overall fun video where everyone just vibing. He had his guys in the video. They all jumping around, just looking like they going, they on go or something. They all having fun. I mean, nothing too crazy about the video, but I had to make a reaction because, like I said, I play this song in my car every single day. Now, I feel like a lot of people were sleeping on this tape, and I hope it gets the recognition it deserves. 
So I'll give this video and song definitely a thumbs up. And make sure y'all go check this tape out. It's called Demons Are Us by Doughboy and 808 Southside. Make sure y'all show love. Now, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I drop new content. Let me know how you feel in the comments about the song. Now, thanks for you guys' support. We're almost at 700 subscribers. We're only 17 subscribers away. So make sure you hit that bell. Listen, just hit the bell, man. Come on. All right? And remember, as long as you keep watching, I'm going to keep dropping. And I'm out.